All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to talk about some advanced features of Probot.io, which is a bot for Discord servers. And more specifically, we're going to be talking about how you can create your own automatic reaction roles on the server so that your members can pop in and click one of these buttons to assign themselves. Like in this case, I've got mythical creatures, Bigfoot, Yeti, Loch Ness Monster, whatever. And then you can get it so that they can assign themselves whichever one they want on your server. So the way that this works is it's two pieces, actually. There's the post, which is the text form. And then there's the little piece that controls these emoji at the bottom of the post. So the first thing we need to do is create an embedded message. And then we just go to new message and we'll call this embed name uh, the test reaction uh, embed. And then from here we can add a title to this that people will see. Uh, get your roles here. Click the one you want. And then we'll say content. Hey folks, brand new reaction roles available. Click the emojis under this post in order to get one. And we'll say like dolphin. Well, actually we'll say what emoji and then that gives you the role. And then we'll say like dolphin gives you um, the Kraken role. And then we can say like, I don't know, ice cream gives you the gremlin. And then what else besides that? Uh, thumbs up is Medusa. Why not? If you have any trouble, let me know. And then we'll say this was made by moi, Larry Chupacabra. And I can make a, a URL people can click on, but I don't really need to. And I can also give the post an icon. And then do I want anything else like a color or a footer or anything? No, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, and then we'll save those changes. And then we can send this message in a specific channel. We can send this to my private testing channel, which I will do right now. So now the post has been made down here. So here you can see this is all the information, although it's a little out of order that I want it in. Let's just get rid of the... Let's get rid of the title. And uh, what else do we have? Let's get rid of the message content and we'll just go back to description. Let's save that. Does that update automatically over here? Let's delete that real quick. Let's send that in the private testing channel. Okay, that looks good. So basically what I want to do from here is now that I've got this embed, I need to make the thing that allows people to get different roles. So let's go down to the auto roles button right here. Actually, no, that's not the one we want. We want the reaction roles. And then we're going to create uh, another one. We're going to add a message. And then down here, it's select an embed. We're going to say test reaction embed. And then it's going to be the one that appears in the private testing channel. You have to first pick the embed and then the version of the embed and what channel you want it to be. You can pick multiple ones. And then we're going to add thumbs up and we'll just technically we'll say this gives you like whatever role. It helps if you've already made the roles. You go into your server settings, you go into your roles. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of them. Bigfoot, Yeti, Thunderbird, Jersey Devil. Exmoor Beast. And the only thing that's different between these roles and like the regular users on my server is that it enables them to use the stream ability in here, the video ability inside of the channels by default. 
That way you actually have to log in, interact on the server before you can do that. You can make it so that this is just a name. A lot of people like to do that where like the, the roles that they get are just a name. Alternatively, you can make this so that like you by clicking an emoji, you acknowledge the rules of the server, then you get to see everything. So you could you can create these roles to do whatever you want. So make the role, then you then you can add them to this panel. So we'll say, you know, the thumbs up was the Medusa, but we'll just say this gives you the Yeti title. And then we can add another one. You can say, uh, what did I, what did I say for this? Dolphin gives you the Kraken. So let's add reaction. Let's look up the dolphin. I'm pretty sure there's a dolphin. Yep. And then we'll say this gives you, unquotes the Kraken. And then after that, we had the gremlin, which was the ice cream. So there's the ice cream. And that gives you the unquotes gremlin, which we'll say is the Jersey Devil. All right, so the last option here is what kind of roll handoff do you want? Toggle means that if you get one roll, it takes away the other one from these three. So you can only have one at a time. Give means you can click as many of them as you want and it'll take and it'll give you all of them. Take means that it's a button that you can press that takes away all the rolls, but this one. Uh, I would say toggle is the best bet or give. That way you're not like flubbing permissions and something breaks later. So I'm gonna say toggle and I'm gonna hit save changes. And this should automatically update this post on the server to have these three buttons. And then if somebody besides me clicks on them, it will then give them that specific role. So you see it gave me Jersey Devil and everything, but it should only give you one if you're not the admin because it's on toggle. So that is in a nutshell how you do reaction roles. They just appear here at the bottom of the post that you make. You first have to make an embed, then you create the reaction roles that attach to it and give people a role. You probably want to have the roles created ahead of time before you set this up. So that has been a brief look at reaction roles attached to probot.io. I hope you found this useful. It's a really easy way to give people their own roles and ranks that they pick without having to worry about them having too many permissions and people using crazy powers on your server that you don't want. Just be careful what uh, permissions you give them. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.